Good day learners, this is Rani here and welcome to my virtual classroom. For today's video lesson, we will be discussing about solving problems on percentile and percentile rank under Mathematics 10, Quarter 4, Week 5. For our learning objectives, after going through this lesson, you, the learner, are expected to solve problems involving measure supposition. Specifically, you will be able to calculate percentile for group data, calculate percentile rank for group data, solve problems involving percentiles, solve problems involving percentile rank. For our key concept number one, the percentile for group data. To solve for the percentile for group data, we have the formula the key percentile is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 100 minus CF sub B divided by F sub key percentile multiplied by I, where LB is the lower boundary of the key percentile class, N is the total frequency, CF sub B is the cumulative frequency before the percentile class, F sub key percentile is the frequency of the percentile class, I is the size of the class interval, and key is the n percentile where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, up to 97, 98, and 99. Let us have an example. Find the 32nd percentile of the mathematics test scores of 50 students, given the table. So the table shows the scores and the frequency, and if we interpret this one, there are 4 students who got the scores from 46 to 50, 8 of the students got the scores from 41 to 45, 11 students got the scores from 36 to 40, 9 students got the scores from 31 to 35, 12 students got the scores from 26 to 30, and 6 students got the scores from 21 to 25. Now to solve for the 32nd percentile of the situation, let us make first the frequency distribution table with the lower boundaries and the less cumulative frequencies. For the lower boundaries, what we're going to do is to subtract 0.5 from the lower score of the class interval. So from 46, that is 46 minus 0.5, it becomes 45.5 which is the lower boundary. The lower boundary of 41 to 45 is 40.5. For 36 to 40, that is 35.5. For 31 to 35, that is 30.5. For 26 to 30, that is 25.5. And for 21 to 25, that is 20.5. On the other hand, for the less cumulative frequency, what we're going to do is to copy the frequency of the least class interval, which is 21 to 25, with the frequency of 6. Therefore, we will just copy 6. And then, add the next frequency of the class interval, which is 12. Thus, we have 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. And then, 18 plus 9, that is 27. 27 plus 11, that is 38. 38 plus 8, that is 46. And 46 plus 4, that is equal to 50. Now, to solve for the 32nd percentile, what we need to do is to find first the 32nd percentile class, which is 32n divided by 100, where our n is equal to 50. So we have 32 times 50 divided by 100 that is equal to 16. Therefore, the 32nd percentile class is at 16th data. And the 16th data belongs to the less cumulative frequency which is 18. This 18 represents the 7 to 18th data. Thus, we will focus now on this row from the class interval 26 to 30. Now, in this class interval, our lower boundary is 25.5, our frequency is equal to 12, and the less cumulative frequency which is the lower number of 18 which is 6, and our i which is the interval that is equal to 5. Now to compute for the 32nd percentile, we have the formula, and given this formula, this is equal to our LB which is 25.5 plus the quantity of 32n over 100 which is equal to 16 minus the cumulative frequency which is 6 and divided by the frequency which is 12 and multiply it by the interval which is 5. 
So, copy lang natin yung 25.5 and then plus the quantity of 16 minus 6 which is 10. Then copy 12 and then copy 5. So, this is equal to copy 25.5 plus the quantity of 10 times 5 which is 50 and then copy 12. So, 50 divided by 12 plus 25.5 that is equal to 29.67. Therefore, the 32nd percentile is equal to 29.67. It also means that 32% of the students got the scores of 29.67 or more or less 30. Now for our key concept number 2, which is the percentile rank. Percentile rank is a proportion of scores in a distribution that a specific score is greater than or equal to. It is used in relating individual scores to their position in the entire group. Percentile rank is computed by the formula the percentile rank is equal to 100 over n plus the quantity of p minus lb quantity multiplied by the frequency divided by the i plus cf sub p where our pr is equal to the percentile rank or the answer will be a percentage. CF sub P is the cumulative frequency of all values below the critical value. P is the row score or value for which one wants to find a percentile rank. LB is the lower boundary of the kit percentile class. N is the total frequency. And I is the size of the class interval. Let us have an example. Find how many percent of the scores are greater than the cumulative frequency of 38 in the table of mathematics scores of 50 students. So given the same table from the previous example, so first that we need to do is to make a frequency distribution table. And given the frequency distribution table which is nagawa na natin from the previous example, so, so we have the first lower boundaries which is 45.5, next is 40.5, Next is 35.5, next is 30.5, next is 25.5, and then 20.5. And for the last cumulative frequency, we will start at the bottom, then copy 6, plus 12, which is 18, plus 9, 27, plus 11, 38, plus 8, 46, and plus 4, 50. Now, after completing the frequency distribution table, we can now start find the percentile rank where we need to find the percent of the scores that are greater than the cumulative frequency of 38. Therefore, our P is equal to 38. Therefore, our percentile class belongs in the class interval 36 to 40. Next is we need to find 100 over N, which is part of the formula, where our N is equal to 50. So we have 100 divided by 50, which is equal to 2. Now, in that class interval, our lower boundary is 35.5, our frequency is equal to 11, and our cumulative frequency which is 27, and I is also equal to 5. Now to solve for the percentile rank, we have the formula. So our 100 over N is equal to 2 plus the quantity of P which is equal to 38 minus the lower boundary which is 35.5 and multiply it by the frequency which is 11 and divide it by the interval which is 5 then plus the cumulative frequency which is 27 now to solve this one we need to solve first what's inside the parentheses so copy 2 plus the quantity of 38 minus 35.5 times 11 that is equal to 27.5 and then copy 5 plus 27 so again equal to 2 plus 27.5 divided by 5 plus 27 is equal to 32.5. So 32.5 plus 2 that is equal to 34.5. Therefore, the percentile rank of the cumulative frequency of 38 is equal to 34.5. So what does it mean of the 34.5 percentile rank? The percentile rank of 34.5 means that there are 34.5% or 35% of the scores are less than the cumulative frequency of 38, while 65% of the scores are greater than the cumulative frequency of 38. 
So that is how you interpret the percentile rank. Now let us have an activity. Let us call this activity the percentile position of group data and percentile rank. Find the indicated percentile and percentile rank in each of the group data with a given table. So in the table, it shows the final grade in mathematics and the frequency. The final grades in mathematics are what we call the class interval. So from 93 to 95, there are 5 students who got that grade. And for 90 to 92, there are 4 students who got that grade, and so on and so forth, up to 75 to 77, in which there are 2 students who got that grade. So for number 1, we need to find the 20th percentile. For number 2, we need to find the 70th percentile. And for number 3, we have to find the percentile rank of the final grade 85. Now to solve for the 20th percentile, first is we need to make the frequency distribution table, which I already did. So given the final grade in mathematics and the frequency, all you have to do is to complete the lower boundaries and the less cumulative frequency. So the lower boundaries, what I did is the same way kung paano natin ginawa yung mga previous example. So we will just subtract the lower grade of the class interval by 0.5. So from 93 minus 0.5, that is 92.5. 90 minus 0.5, that is 89.5. 87 minus 0.5 is 86.5 and so on and so forth up to 75 minus 0.5 which is 74.5 and for the last cumulative frequency so let's start tayo sa bottom so all we have to do is to copy the frequency of the least class interval which is 75 to 77 with the frequency of 2 so copy 2 then plus 8 that is 10 10 plus 10 that is 20 20 plus 6 that is 26 26 plus 15 is 41 41 plus 4 that is 45 and 45 plus 5 that is 50 now to solve for the 20th percentile all we have to do is to follow the formula first is we need to find the 20th percentile class which is 20n over 100 so our n is equal to 50 so we have 20 times 50 divided by 100 that is equal to 1000 divided by 100 which is equal to 10. Therefore, the 20th percentile class is at 10th data and the 10th data can be found in the last cumulative frequency which is 10 since it belongs from 3rd to 10th data. So we will now focus in the class interval 78 to 80. In that class interval, we can find the lower boundary which is 77.5, our frequency which is equal to 8, and the less cumulative frequency which is the lower number of 10 which is 2, and our i is equal to 3, that is from 80 minus 77. So following this formula, this is equal to the lower boundary which is 77.5 plus the quantity of kn over 100 which is equal to 10 minus the cumulative frequency which is equal to 2 divided by the frequency which is 8 times the interval which is 3 then copy 77.5 plus the quantity of 10 minus 2 which is 8 divided by 8 times 3 copy 77.5 plus 8 times 3 which is 24 divided by 8 so this is equal to 77.5 plus 24 divided by 8 which is 3 so 77.5 plus 3 this is equal to 80.5 therefore the 20th percentile is equal to 80.5 it also means that 20% of the class got the grade 80.5 now to find the 70th percentile so the same way on how we do the 20th percentile first is we need the formula and in finding the 70th percentile class which is 70n over 100 where our n is equal to 50. So we have 70 times 50 divided by 100 that is equal to 3500 divided by 100. 3500 divided by 100 that is equal to 35. Therefore our 70th percentile class is equal to 35. Therefore our 70th percentile class is at 35th data. And the 35th data belongs to 
day 41 last cumulative frequency since it belongs from 27th to 41st data. So we will focus in the class interval 87 to 89. From that interval, our lower boundary is equal to 86.5, our frequency is equal to 15, and the least cumulative frequency which is the lower number which is 26 and our i is equal to 3. Now, following the formula, our lowering boundary is equal to 86.5 plus the quantity of Kn over 100, which is equal to 35, minus the cumulative frequency, which is 26, divided by the frequency, which is 15, and times the interval, which is 3. So, copy 86.5 plus the quantity of 35 minus 26, which is 9, then copy 15 times 3 equal to 86.5 plus the quantity of 9 times 3 which is 27 divided by 15. So this is equal to 86.5 plus 27 divided by 15 which is equal to 1.8. So 1.8 plus 86.5 this is equal to 88.3. Therefore the 70th percentile is equal to 88.3. It also means that 70% of the class got a grade of 88.3 or lower. Now, to find the percentile rank of the final grade 85, where our P is equal to 85, since that is what we need to find the percentile rank. And 85 belongs to the class interval 84 to 86. Therefore, we will focus on that class interval. Next is we need to find 100 over N, which is part of the formula where our n is equal to 50. So this is equal to 100 divided by 50, which is equal to 2. And in that class interval, our lower boundary is 83.5, our frequency, which is equal to 6, and the cumulative frequency, which is below 26, which is equal to 20. And our i is equal to 3. Now using the formula of the percentile rank, so this is equal to 100 over n, which is equal to 2, plus the quantity of P, which is 85, minus the lower boundary of 83.5, times the frequency of 6, divided by I, or the interval, which is 3, then plus the cumulative frequency of 20. Next is copy 2 plus the quantity of 85 minus 83.5 times 6, which is equal to 9 divide by 3 plus 20 then copy 2 plus 9 divide 3 plus 20 which is equal to 23 then 23 plus 2 which is equal to 25 therefore the percentile rank of the final grade 85 is equal to 25 now what does it mean of the percentile rank 25 in this situation the percentile rank of 25 means 25 percent of the class got a final grade less than 85 while 75% of the class got a higher final grade than 85. And that's it for this video lesson. I hope you learned something new. So again, if you have any question or any math lesson that you would like me to make a video, just comment down below. And also, do not forget, hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye.